Hello, my name is Aaron Robbins, and I wanted to do a really quick demonstration of how to make water or transparent materials in Magica Voxel. I think this is 9.97 that I'm using here, and the glass material that you will need to make a transparent or watery substance was added in 0.96.3, so you have to be using a version um, later than that, but Magica Voxel is free, so no reason not to run the uh, newest version. So here's the thing is that you can't um, like grab one of these swatches here and then while you're in editor mode make them transparent. You have to go into rendering mode to do that and there is a button, a toggle button up here at the top will, that will allow us to go into rendering mode. So if we click render it uh, takes us into rendering mode and then it changes to editor and that's how you toggle back and forth between the two. So when you are in rendering mode, which we are in now, you get this matter section of tools here on the right and what it's asking you is if you want to change the material, do you want those changes to apply to all the materials or just to a selected one? We want to do just a selected one because we don't want to make our tree and our house transparent. We want to make just these two water textures, this light one and this little darker blue here. So I'm going to select it in my scene. Um, you can kind of uh, make sure you've got the right one by changing the color or whatever. And I will just change it back. And that's the blue that we want. And then we're going to go over here and so we're going to change this from all to selected. And then instead of this, the standard diffuse um, shader here, we're going to change it down to the glass one. And then you get these options, glass, roughness, refraction, and attenuation. Um, so the first thing we want to do to make it transparent is to turn up the glassiness of it. So we can turn that up to the middle and you'll notice now my um, shader or this swatch has become transparent. You can then go ahead and turn up the refractions, which is kind of how light bends as it goes through a material. In this case, it uh, sort of applies, or sort of what it affects is the reflections um, that the substance picks up. Reference will, roughness will change whether or not those uh, reflections and things are rough or smooth. And attenuation usually controls the fall off or the signal loss. Uh, I don't think this water is like deep enough to do that. Um, so I'm just gonna leave it where it is. So now I have transparent water that you can see kind of going over the top of these rocks here. Um, I'm going to make it a little less thing, but we have these cubes um, you can see that we can still see through the water here. Um, and that's not what I want, so I want to actually go ahead and now select those cubes, which are these swatches right here, and turn them onto glass, uh, and then turn them up as well. And they will start to become transparent as well. And there you go. So that's how you make transparent or glass materials uh, inside of Magic Voxel, Magica Voxel. Actually, you can make all the different, uh, different shaders in here. There's uh, metal, glass, and emission. And the emission one's super helpful for making things emit light. I uh, hope you found that helpful. Thanks for watching.